Hello, today something completely different than the stuff I normally develop. I made a tool called TurboCase. This is a tool for generating 3D printable enclosures for KiCad projects. I wrote this because, well, I made a PCB in KiCad and alignment of screw holes is a bit annoying, so I made a tool to do it automatically. So here's a KiCad project. Let's open the PCB. This board I'm using as an example did not really have any uh, screw holes in it, so I added a few random ones where it somewhat fits. Doesn't really matter for the demo. So to generate an enclosure for this board, I will be painting on the user six layer. And then with the line drawing tools, I will be drawing the outline of the case and this will be the inside edge of the case that will be generated. So now there's a basic outline for the, the case shape which I want, which is just a basic rectangle. And I have to refill the zones because I slightly moved the boards to align to the grid a bit better. Now let's run this uh, through TurboCase. I will be moving to my CACAT project directory here. And I will launch it with the PCB files argument. It only actually needs the PCB file. And the output file name, which will be an open SCAD file. And that's it. Case has been generated. Let's open it. And that's it, a generated PCB case. I can show the PCB here using the SCAD customizer. You can easily see that it has generated the mounting poles for the random mounting holes I've added to this board. And there is also the circle hole in the add cuts layer of my board, which is shown as a hole on the board here. So it can also display the lid and the PCBs in the way. Well, this is just a rectangle because no special features have been defined for the lid. And with the all setting, you can see how it fits together. And this will not really work in practice because there is no height in the case. So what actually is needed here is I need to define where my connectors are. The way to add connectors in TurboCase is using the TurboCase KiCad library, which I haven't installed yet. So let's go to the footprint editor and then with file and library, um, yeah, it can be a global one. And then browse to the folder where TurboCase is downloaded. It will have a KiCad library in the Git repository. And that's it. I think I can go straight back to the PCB editor and the library should be here. There it is. The library adds a lot of 3D shapes uh, for TurboCase to actually generate the case. And I will be importing a cutout for the Nutric D-series mounting holes for the XLR connectors that are on this board. Most of the footprints in TurboCase are these rectangles with a line in it. And the line just signifies in which direction the hole will be uh, cut through the case uh, in the final open SCAD model. The mounting holes for these connectors have two screws on either side of it, and they are not on the same height, making this a non-symmetrical connector. And that's why there is a special label here on the footprint to signify which side is the front, so the screw holes for the connector will actually match up when installing them. Uh, for this demo, I will not be aligning the, the cutouts that precisely. They should be they should be perfectly in the center of the connector, but I did not add anything to the correct grid on this example PCB. The next connector is the headphone jack. I also already have a footprint for this because I've used this board for developing the software. And that's good enough for the demo. Now there's a hole in this board, which was not at all designed for this case, but let's add a mounting post in it. The mounting post will be used for screwing down the lid of the case in the center here so it stays on. And I will add this M31. 
and let's generate the case again. I also will add the verbose option to have a bit of statistics and output here. Normally it will only show something when there is an error. Uh, I had closed the software. Here, the new generated case. It now has the proper holes for all the nursery connectors that will be on the front of the board. And because I have defined some connectors with a height in turbo case, it will also adjust the height of the whole case so everything should fit. And I know that the connectors are in fact the tallest component that will be on this board. There's also a setting here for headroom. You can increase that a bit to make the generated case even taller so it looks a bit more symmetrical. And let's also adjust the PCB thickness because I did not set that up correctly in KiCad before exporting everything. And the other important settings here are the M3 screws that I've added here. Um, TurboCase has already detected that the mounting holes on the PCB are for M3 screws. And after printing I will be putting some threaded metal inserts in that because it's just way nicer to work with. They don't come in in the standard sizes though, so it is possible to define the diameter and the length of the inserts you're using and that will make sure it all fits together nicely after printing it and putting in the inserts. So let's look at the lid that has been generated now. Because I've added the mounting post, there's also a screw hole on the top here now, which allows for a nice recessed screw here to hold the cap on. Normally you add a bit more in the corners or something uh, to give it a bit more mechanical stability. And let's expl export it. First select only the rendered case and then let OpenSketch render the, the model. The PCB is visible here, but the generated code is written in a way that the PCB placeholder will not be in the, in the final generated model. And the render is done. And now the color has changed and the render is done. You can press the STL button to export it as a regular STL file you can load into the slicer. Now select the lid and do the same thing. Uh, this should be pretty quick since it's only the lid. Yep. And also export this one. And that is basically all there is to it. This should work with basically any PCB, any case shape. It's not limited to rectangles. You can just add any of the lines, arcs and polygons and circles to the, the case outline and make any shape you want. The main limitation here, of course, is the availability of the case outlines, but that is just a library that has to grow over time and that will be added to the Git repository of TurboCase. Well, I, uh, I basically created this to avoid learning how to use actual CAD software. So yeah, I hope this will be useful to anyone else as well. Uh, thanks for watching.